Welcome back everyone to episode 13 of Let's Play 100% Fallout 4. So if you joined us last episode, we have already been here. Um, and I'm sure, although I did not technically show it on camera, you got the inkling that we died right before we ended our last episode. Um, we hit quite a few nasty things and we just didn't make it. Um, I actually didn't even really uh, respond here. My save was still like back away. Um, so we had to, <laughs> we had to, I figured I'd at least get to the nursery again before we started the next episode. Um, so you guys didn't have to watch all of the embarrassing moments of me trying to make my way across the wasteland and apparently being extremely terrible at it because I suck. <laughs> no, um, because it's a very dangerous place to go and you shouldn't travel the wasteland aimlessly, okay? That's, that's my reasoning. So we're gonna try and make our way to the raiders and avoid the extremely deadly mutated monsters that uh, roam the lands here. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna have probably bad luck again. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, look. There's our... What was it? Yowie Gowie? I don't even know if that's really, like, how you pronounce that. I think I said that last time, too. But that's because it's true. Oh my god. What was that? I'm not even gonna look behind me, because then I'll die for sure. Was that the Yowie Gowie? Like, that was a rumbling, was it not? Oh, I swear, I just really want to be able to make it to this freaking raider base and try and murder those people, even though we're probably the ones who are going to get murdered. Oh, look, there's people up there. Let's avoid them. I'm telling you, I know this probably isn't very stimulating, but I'm just trying to survive here, guys. Like, it's been a rough... It's been a rough time in, in Fallout. I'm really uh, struggling <laughs> playing on hard difficulty, apparently. I mean, there are times where I feel like it's not that bad. And then there are times where it seems extremely challenging. That's why I, I, I kind of feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just that I'm bad. Oh, is this the place? No, this is it? I remember this. This is harder than balls. Oh, no. We're gonna die a lot. I'm just gonna forewarn you. We're gonna die a lot. Because, if I recall correctly, this was not easy. I need to discover this. Oh, look how many people are over there. I need to discover this, though. Because then what I could do is I might... I might leave and come back. Um, because I'd like to try and buy, like, maybe a better sniper rifle. Like, can I just discover this place and leave real quick, please? Thank you. Maybe? No? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. So we've discovered it. Let's... I, I know it might be kind of cheating. Oh, no, no. You didn't You didn't just see me. You, I'm not here. I'm a ghost. I'm not here. Um... I know it kind of might be... I, I don't think it's cheating, but we're, we're going to discover it. And then we'll come back when it's a little safer. Although, knowing my luck, when I fast travel back, it's going to put us, like, right in the middle of everybody. That's a possibility as well. We're just going to have to risk it. Um, let's go back to Diamond City and see what we can buy. And then we'll come and see, um, you know, uh, we'll see what we can do with that. I just think maybe if we get a better gun maybe some more stim backs we might be in a better um a better position <laughs> to hopefully not die 20 times because i'm not gonna lie you know i'm putting content out here and my goal is not to be like the worst gamer um i don't mind being slightly <laughs> poor at gaming but i'd rather not be the the worst it'd be ideal so let's see what we can find here in diamond city um uh, you know, honestly, getting meat might be a good alternative to just flat out, um, buying stim packs. Because, you know, honestly, they give you quite a bit of, uh, cash. And, um, yeah. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
First of all, hey, let's. You in the paper, right? Hey, I'll be right back. I was. Years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? <laughs> Why? Thank you. I didn't realize she posted the uh, applicate or the application, the newspaper article. No yeah, I know. Here is worth what I charge for it. No argument. Okay, that's cool. Sure. Let's take a look. A bit of everything. I really don't like buying stuff from her because she's kind of crazy. She's not even the weapons person, but let's just see what she has. Oh, a light hunting rifle. That's kind of cool. I want a... No, she doesn't even have a sniper rifle. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Is there anything I want to sell? Mm. Mm. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Yep, sell, sell. I don't need to sell, say sell every time I sell something. Uh, mm, we've already established that we're not doing drugs so honestly we have quite a bit of med x what does it do damage resist and poison resist uh we might need that honestly i think we might start taking med x i still haven't looked into whether or not med x like you can get addicted to it but you know honestly we're already pretty intelligent so i'm just gonna go ahead and sell the med tats we're not selling our nukas. Preserved. Selling that. Salisbury steak. That gives us radiation. Oh, look. She technically doesn't have that much money. What does a stealth boy do? It, well, wait a minute. Does a stealth boy make you stealthier? I should probably save that then. Okay, let's see what we can buy from her before we... Do you have stim packs? You do! 1,314 caps. Honestly, I don't even want to buy these from you. I just, well, let's see if we can at least even out. How much does one cost? One is 146. Gosh, they're so expensive. So ridiculous. Okay, that's not working. Is everything frozen? Thank you. Okay. Um, bobby pins. What ammo does she have? Mm, is this our sniper rifle ammo? I think it is. <coughs> oh my goodness. I apologize. I had to sneeze. <laughs> Let's... No, I really don't want to buy that either. I don't want to buy anything extra from her. So I guess maybe let's just not sell her something. There it goes again. I'm freezing it. Let's not sell her... Some of our mentats. Although, no, that gave us some money back. Let's not sell her our bourbon. And we still have. Um, we'll take our canned dog food back. And our blamco. And our cram. I guess if we're going to take stuff back, let's make it food. Because even though I don't like eating food with radiation, um, at least, like, uh, we get health from it. You know, it's not just like we're Protection from out of anything. Um, okay. Who sells guns? Guns. Guns. Oh, weaponry. Duh. You need protection. Everyone does. Yes, you're right. Let's see what you got. Feel free to test the grip. Who, what do you have? Arturo. Arturo? Ooh, bayoneted light sniper rifle. Okay. I kind of, I don't know if I like the bayonet, but big boy. Huh? God, look at that value. $15,000. Wow. Old faithful. Hmm. Hunting rifle. Tactical boosted laser rifle. Tactical calibrated pipe bolt action. Uh, we don't want to go pipe bolt. Tactical light double barrel shotgun. Tactical submachine. Oh, okay, so the only thing they have, I looks like, is the is the bayoneted light sniper rifle. But look, that does forty seven damage. Takes point three zero eight ammo, and he's two hundred and forty four dollars. Honestly, I think we might go ahead and do it. I only have. <laughs> nine rounds though um 
Maybe I need your ammo. 504 caps. Ugh. Let's buy 25. Okay. And do we have anything we can sell him or no? Do I want to sell any sniper? Well, let me see. I could... No, I don't want to sell him the one I just bought. Um, let's sell him that. Let's sell him that because we haven't used it. Let's sell him our pipe rifle. Um, ported armor piercing automatic pipe. 10 damage. Like, no thank you. Uh, we want to keep our short hunting rifle. I mean, I don't... That's enhanced meat hook. I feel like this is a special item that I shouldn't sell. Uh, yeah, let's not sell it. Compensated heavy 10 millimeter pistol. No. My pistol. <laughs> bayoneted. Oh. We already have a bayoneted pipe sniper rifle. Uh, but we're going to sell that because obviously this bad boy does way more damage. Um. Mm, mm. Let's let's go ahead and get rid of the auto. I'm just trying to make some money back. Okay, so we're still giving him a pretty penny, but that's okay. Or accept. Okay. All right. And actually, is this like a yeah? Can I work on this? Nice. Okay. So what can we do? Can we do anything? Standard magazine. Short scope. Standard sights. Bayonet, no muzzle. Oh. Can I like? I mean, I honestly don't think I want that. So I'm sorry, but yeah. No material. Uh, okay. Short scope. I don't think. I don't know what we already have on there, but what is our? We have a standard magazine. This would. Um, fire rate. What does this actually do? Better ammo capacity, reduced reload sale. speed. It doesn't really indicate that though. Fire rate is still like the only thing it changes is the weight and the value. Unless you just, I'm missing something, which is probably the case. Okay. Well, we can't do anything. Cool. Um. Let's, well, can we do anything else to... Ooh, let's look at what we can do to our hunting rifle, perhaps. Nothing. We can do nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can't do jack to our equipment. Mmm... Ooh, looking for work. Got any work? Well, if you wanna you know, help the sport, you know what? I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catch his name, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? Mm, let's ask for more money. 100 caps seems light. I need more. You think you can play me for a sucker? 100 caps a piece and that's it. Take it or leave it. Mm, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> a card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I well, 300 caps. And baseball, thank you. I wish we could get more money, thank though. You. So should we go ahead and do this little side quest? I think I might, because this is actually kind of, this should, well, eh, before I get too excited, this should hopefully be a relatively easy quest that we can get money for. So that sounds pretty, pretty good, right? Right? Yeah. Except for we're going to have to go through the extremely dangerous city, it looks like, to get there. Um, but let's go ahead and try that. I mean, honestly, I... I think it would be good to just get out, hopefully do something that's not too challenging, and make some money. And then maybe we can level up and, you know, I don't know, just be a little 
better before we try <laughs> and kill these people. Um, I, I kind of do feel like it's a little annoying, though, that I even have to worry about this. Like, I think, you know, I had started saying that it feels like Fallout isn't very leveled because it doesn't... I mean, this is one of the, what, second quests for the Minutemen, and we're already on the struggle bus a little bit. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm just a bad player, or maybe they didn't level the game well enough to match um, to match the characters. I mean, I, I don't think, you know, I think sometimes Skyrim can be too easy, but it just feels like Fallout is having the opposite problem. It's too challenging. Yep. I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you're thinking. Um, is Fallout easy? Um, is it just because I put it on hard settings? Um, which really isn't, I mean, it's not even the most difficult setting, though, is the thing. You know what I mean? It really shouldn't be that challenging. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you dare. Ooh, lunchbox? Wine and squirrel bits? Hey, I don't mind. This part of town actually seems kind of, uh, nice. Who's gonna? No, I'm not falling for that. You're totally a raider just trying to murder me and take my compassion and use it against me like an evil person. Oh, that stump really like stood out to me. I thought that was um, I thought that was maybe uh one of those drug boxes, you know, the yellow ones with the blood on it, that all look the exact same. <laughs> I will say the terrain in Skyrim. Or oh goodness, see, I have Skyrim on the brain. Can you tell that that's my typical game? Um, the terrain. <laughs> in Fallout really looks similar no matter where you go, doesn't it? I mean, maybe it's different elsewhere, but it's looking pretty similar. Is that a ghoul? Oh shoot. There we go. And I only have one bullet. I think I missed her. Is that a nuke? What the f- No, that wasn't a nuke, but that's an explosion for sure. Is there anything even good over here that we got attacked for? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I am kind of interested to know what exploded off here in the distance. Not gonna. Oh, super mutants. It's a pretty good shaped car. Like, what the heck? <laughs> That's really not that bad. Hmm. We're gonna stumble upon. Ooh. Oh, I see a ghoul. Do we go over there? Do we say hello, friend? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's actually, let's try out our new sniper rifle. Even though I shouldn't be waiting, or wasting uh, ammo. <laughs> I like it. Hold on, before we go in here. What damage? That does 24 damage. That's actually really not that bad. Ooh. Was there another one in there? I thought I saw another one. Look at me. I'm too greedy about trying to, um, you know, loot people before... There's nothing even over here. Why did I... Like, <laughs> I'm just taking on a ton of radiation for no reason. Oh my gosh, look at all that radiation. Wow. That's a ton. Ha! Ah, that's a lot. Um, and it's literally nothing. Like, I think I've already complained about this 20 times too, but here we go again. The loot scale in here is just, ah, it's not good. It's really not. Oh, you know what I feel like though? We've run into all these ghouls. I feel like that's what this is going to be. It's going to be like a ghoul mess. Let's go ahead and save before I forget. And then I get really angry that we have to go all the way back. Let's start sneaking. I need like a... Do they even do knives or anything like that as uh, weapons? Or are they all... This is totally going to be ghouls. Or... Well, I don't know the water. It could be my lurks. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. We're going to find out very soon. 
Okay, alright, I don't see any ghouls. Signed catcher's mitt. Just in a random toolbox. Cool. Let's take that, let's take that. Um, run it through. Let's take the gas. We gotta get stuff for our little humble abode. Another short hunting rifle. You know, I'm gonna take it because we can sell it. And I think we're okay on weight. Uh, we're okay. This place shouldn't be too big. It's not like we're gonna find. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, there they are. Ugh, gone. Just like that. Where is he coming? Is he coming this way? Ooh. Yes, yes. Ow. Oh, Kate. We're alive. Oh. Alright, yeah, Piper. You take the brunt here. I like this. Alright. I don't know if this is the best gun for these guys, but it seems to be working. Alright, next one's up there. Uh, do we have to go through the water to get up there? I think we're gonna have to. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't. Let's take a look over here first. I think we're gonna have to. Um, okay, that's fine. We're gonna go through the water. There's only ginormous mutated crabs in there that wanna kill us, but let's do it. Was this the best way also to get, like, I don't even know, can we get up this way? Nope, I'm just jumping for joy. No, I think we're gonna need to go in the house this way. I should have just done that in the first place. Where are they? There they are. Didn't we just kill? Oh, they're babies. Great. Maybe we can, like, scrape them before they notice us. <laughs> Probably not. Baseball glove. Let's go ahead and take that. I know, obviously, I'm aware it's not the quest item. But, um, I don't know. It might not hurt. He might be willing to pay a little bit for it. Alright, so we have a novice safe here. Um... Ammo, we will definitely take that. Signed baseball. Okay, and um, silver pocket watch. We're gonna leave the pipe pistol. Not feeling the need to, to get that, particularly. There's another guy. Um, let's switch to hunting rifle. Wow, hitting that shell doesn't do a lot. Ooh, goodness. That was fast. Was that just me or was that fast? Good job. Good job, Piper. Oh, she's killing the little guys. I think she can handle those. And if she can't, she's got some serious problems. I feel like this is strategically put to where something can run up here easily and get us. Ooh, a magazine! Unstoppables. You've collected an issue of the Unstoppables. Permanently gain 1% chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Wow. I mean, 1% isn't a lot, but I don't know. That sounds pretty good. Just, like, completely avoiding an attack? I'll take it. Okay, let's go over here. Is this just a little little sitting spot to see the people that are... Or the creatures that are going to eat us? Okay, well, that was pretty good. Um, Let's go check that little playground. Just in case there's something over there. Like, it feels like... There should certainly be some type of loot in there, right? I mean, they lead it all the way down here. Oh, we got some soap? Wow, okay, I'm so glad I went there. <laughs> Alright, um, so I think that's it for this fella. I kind of want to check that little garage over there. So let's see if there's anything. Oh, wow. Mad jumping skills. Nope, there's, there's nothing. Once again. Oh, 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 eh, tabletop, nope, okay, cool. Oh, excuse me. All right. Take a couple of these little flowers here, and let's uh, fast travel back to Diamond City. Get our reward, our 300 caps, bala bala. <laughs> or not, but you know. 
I mean, we're definitely going to need the money. Because um, I have a feeling, because we're not like necessarily finding a lot of stuff out on our travels, or at least it feels like we're not, maybe it'll pick up. I mean, I do think we should be able to start getting more loot, you know, the higher levels we get. But... I don't know, maybe this is what I get for putting, like, nothing into luck. Maybe I should have just done luck and charisma, you know? Just My been really lucky and charming. Hey, Mo. Got those baseball relics I asked for? Uh, yes. Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball thing. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. What? Look at that card. <laughs> See those numbers on the back? It tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. <laughs> Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything <laughs> on the list. <laughs> Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Wow. He's got a really morbid um, idea of what baseball was. I mean, I don't know a lot about baseball, but I know it did not include any of that. <laughs> I just don't even. Okay, that's fine. Alright, you know what? Um, I kind of want to see if there are any other miscellaneous quests like that, but we don't have a ton of time left, and I kind of want to drop off some stuff at our condo, so let's go do that. Let's go back to the condo, and let's drop some stuff off, and maybe open up the workbench and clear it up a little bit. Um, I think that might be a good idea. It feels right to me. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go do. Um, and then we can uh, wrap up this episode. And next episode, I think I might just continue to see if there are any little small quests we can do in... Um, Piper, get out of my way. <laughs> in Diamond City. See if we can help the people out. And kind of do that whole thing. So let's go. Do we ever? Okay, let's go directly in here. Um, and let's store all junk. Okay, and then let's open up the workshop and start doing my most satisfying scrapping. Ah, oh, I love it. It's just so amazing. We're gonna scrap everything. Scrap, scrap. There should be a song. I'm gonna make one up. Scrap, scrap, scrap your junk. <laughs> Mad skills, I know. I should be a songwriter. What am I doing? Um, no, let's leave that chair, just in case we want it. We don't want to scrap stuff that we potentially will use, because, um, obviously, that would be silly. <laughs> Cozy little, um, map there. Alright. Ooh, and there's some bottles here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave the signage because I like it. Makes it authentic. That one looks a little crappy. Let's go ahead and scrap that one. And that can't go anywhere. Nothing up there. Um, that door is fine. So there's really no point in getting rid of it. That door is crap. <laughs> I'm so nice. That door is crap. You're crap, I say. Um, ooh, what do we want to do here I kind of want to leave it as a diner like I don't feel totally like it needs to change actually I might get rid of these tables though these are kind of annoying oops I don't want to forget you little ashtray um, I just really want to clean this place up. Like, the only reason I might scrap this whole counter is because it's got a bunch of trash on it. Do I want to scrap the counter? No, I don't want to scrap the counter. That takes away the charm. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Uh, I wish that had a door. A little annoying. Excuse me. Ooh, potato crisp. Uh, I just want that bottle. Ice cooler. We'll leave that. Um, oh, that trash is really bothering me. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, oh well. Well, you know what, now I'm committed. Let's get rid of that one, too. Just because it feels better that way, naturally, you know? Um, I'm not going to bother with the stuff down there. Do I want to... Let's get rid of this stuff, just because it looks like crap. 
Can we take that and like store it? No, I don't want to scrap it. Okay. Oh, what was did that? I thought that. Mm, I thought that um, like highlighted on something. Okay. So and that door is good, so we'll leave that one. And um, yeah. Okay. All right. Let. Ooh, wait a minute. I saw a bottle. I have to tidy up. Have to tidy up. Let's go upstairs. So we got that area clean. I wanted this to be our work area, but I'm not sure. Gosh, I don't even know where this stuff is in here. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's okay. Not what I want. I'm not sure if I'm going to be even able to. Oh, crafting. Pfft, there we go. Okay, yes, yeah, see. I And I don't have. You have to have local leader in order to do it. And I don't have aluminum. And I don't have screws or rubber. Uh, I don't even have what I... Oh, look at that cooking stove. That's so cute. Oh, but we can make a Nuka mixer station. Wow, that's, um, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> but we can't make this stuff until we have local leader rank two. That's kind of inconvenient. That means we're going to have to... <sighs> we're going to have to, um go other places to do any sort of crafting or anything we want um i don't think i'm gonna get rid of much up here except for like maybe that box we don't need that box there um is there anything else i feel like honestly i want to leave some of this miscellaneous stuff because it's like character well let's go ahead and get rid of we'll leave one box and our bathroom i don't I don't, it, this is all just like such really good like placement. I don't want to just get rid of most of this. Um, let's get rid of that and that. Um, I kind of like that look, so we'll leave those for now unless we become desperate for wood. And in regards to this room, uh, I don't think I'm going to scrap anything. I don't think there's anything in here that we'd want to scrap. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure... I'm good with, um, I mean, there's those boxes. I'll scrap those because those are just not tidy. And we'll scrap those because that's not necessary. I'm going to leave that crate because I feel like that adds to the look for that shelf. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this stuff's a little silly, but, um... I'm gonna scrap that because that has rubber. I'm gonna scrap the stuff on top of here. I'm committed. Now I've now I'm doing it. No, wait a minute. I'm leaving the plastic pumpkin. I want the plunger, paint can. Yeah. Okay. Well, look how tidy it is now. What's this? Oh, that's a plant. Okay. All right. So I think that is going to be the end of the episode. Um, we definitely went off course to what I was planning. I don't know I had fun with it I like that little tiny side mission um that was actually that was pretty fun so I think we might go ahead and like I said continue to um see what if any there are like little additional side um missions I haven't actually like I don't think done it any or a lot of those or I don't know I don't know if I've done any of those episodes before so yeah I mean it might be a little interesting because it'll be some new content that I haven't seen, at least personally. Um, and hopefully it will do what I was, you know, aiming to do, which is build our character up, get some better loot, um, get some XP in so we can hopefully be better <laughs> the next time we have to come across something dangerous um, and hopefully not die. That That is the goal anyways. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did please go ahead and hit that like button to show your support. Um, if you'd like to stay in the loop on future content, also go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, and hit the alert so you're notified when I have a new episode posted. I am currently in planning on releasing new content every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A new video goes live. Um, currently, we are obviously doing the Fallout 4 stream um, well, it's not a stream, but, you know, the, the playthrough, um, 
And my goal, though, is to continue to do future content as well. Um, newer games, older games, pretty much just, you know, what I feel like playing. Maybe if you guys have some suggestions on games that you really like, I will say I do tend to have a specific style of game I like to play, sort of. I don't know. It's kind of, yeah, whatever. But, um, <laughs> so there will be new content coming. Um, I might also introduce a different game while we're still doing Fallout, just to spice things up a little bit. But I wanted to get started on Fallout, get some progress going, have it a little established before we looked at any other uh, additional games that we might want to add uh, onto the channel here. But that will be the end of today's episode, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Have a great time with your life, and I'll see you later. Bye!